How would a team of assassins from the Officio Assassinorum go about replacing the head of a night world? How would they infiltrate and assassinate an Imperial Knight to do this? Let's begin. A team is put together and in the field they will operate under Wraith, a member of the Vindicare Temple, Snipers. They capture a free blade called Rakan, who Imperial Knight that he controls is called Jester. Psychorax will learn from him how to act as a Imperial Knight controller. So she can infiltrate the house. Their mission is to remove the king and replace the leader of Dominion with a leader who supports the Imperium. She successfully gets the knight to accept her. As part of this, she recites Rakan's family lineage on both sides. Then Psychorax, to control Jester, had to go deep into her persona of Rakan, to the point where she gives up the part of her that is her. This de deeper level is because of the recorded minds in Jester of previous hosts who would kill her if they felt she was not who she said she was. Acting as Rakan, she is welcomed back by Yuvarius Cow, High Monarch and Pilot of the Imperial Knight, the Crown of Dominion. Psychorax then looks for a patron, and this is tested when she goes to Rakan's real mother, Baroness Hawthorne Aster Rakan. Rakan's mother, though, does not notice the difference. Together, the assassins send out the various candidates they might want to put on the throne. They plan to assassinate the leader at a tournament. Jester, piloted by Psychorax, will take part. Psychorax is able to get into the tournament by offering to act as aid to Baron Titus Yuma, the king's ward. In the fight, she acts as a shield for Yuma. So he makes first blood. Chaos influenced insurgents attack the Crown of Dominion with a body bomb. It damages the shield, but does not take them down. What it does do is give Wraith a chance to take out the leader of the Dominion. His first shot takes down the weakened iron shield, but it would reset in seconds. So he clambers up to the top hatch of the Imperial Knight. From its position for the tournament, the crowd can see what is happening, and from there he took a moment to look through the portal and sees pale skin and open eyes. He uses turbo penetrator rounds. A few don't break through. Yuma, seeing what is happening, orders that they take down the Crown of Dominion's iron shield to stop the death of their ruler. Wraith's next shot breaks through, and Wraith sees what piloted the Imperial Knights. The ruler of Dominion is already dead, and has been for some time. Those watching think he has killed the ruler. The iron field goes down, and those fielded for the tournament go after him. Sycorax in Jester tries to stop his death. Wraith ran, keeping the crown of Dominion between him and the knights. The crowd begins to fill the areas around him the small holes he was evading the knights in. He is tackled to the ground under the will of those who are commanders amongst the knights, who are slave to the will of Yuma. Sycorax is forced to fire, and Wraith and 13 members of the mob are liquefied. She thinks for a moment until her senses tell her Wraith is still alive. Amongst the mob, he had slipped his mask onto someone else. Sycorax reveals that due to her fighting to not kill Wraith, Jester has now rejected her. The team learns that those running Dominion think the leader was mad, so they would isolated him and speak for him. Wraith says the best target for leader will now be Lord Dagger Crane, as he is pro-imperial. To do this, they need to eliminate other likely candidates. Sycorax takes one, and just to note that Rakan at this point has been detained by the people in charge on Dominion. Sycorax goes after Tan Kegger, who hunts in his night suit. He talks about the wild freaks of nature he could acquire if he became monarch. His servant says, if, and pushes him forward and into the jaws of an enormous snake. Sycorax then escapes, taking out his men and a battle servitor with a neural shredder and phase blade and used polymorphine to warp her body to slither between the bars of the cages on her way out. Wraith takes out another. After the elections, it's announced Dagger Crane will have a day of coronation to be the new ruler of Dominion. So in that part, they have succeeded. Rakan is allowed, at the request of Dagger Crane, to be part of his bodyguard. The downside is he has to pilot a new knight called Red Sky. He suspects they're going to hijack his control of it. And so he escapes in his new knight, then discovers it's corrupted, so he damages its controls and leaves. At the coronation, 
both main houses on the planet are called to the war of Gilliman and to put aside their rivalry. But as it nears the end, the speeches tone changes. It says they will reunite with the knights of House Mulvane, traitors who had returned, the first traitor knights to land since the heresy. The knight of the crown of dominion and some knights such as Yuma join the crown of dominion, others won't agree. Those who would not join are wiped out by the crown's plasma decimator. Rakan goes to his father's casket and says he always strove to be more than his parents were, but had failed in his helm vision. He sees words come up. It says, the duty of a wounded knight, what is it? And when he answers with to rise from his blood, something is revealed to him and a voice like thunder says, I have been waiting. It says, this is the legacy your father left for you and it's a new knight for him to ride in. One paired with Jester and when he bonds with it, he feels his father. We learn that the wounded and dead leader who had been in the crown of Dominion originally had been corrupted in an old battle. The throne mechanicum and night systems only kept him alive, but he was mad with moments of lucidity. But what had slain him had begun to corrupt him, which is when the nobles isolated him and spoke for him. And when a replacement was needed and installed, the one guided into that place by the Assassinorum, who has found out that it was not the form leader that was corrupted, in fact, he had fought the corruption within the night suit for ten years. It was the knight, the crown of dominion, that was corrupted itself. So it was the new leader was also corrupted. Rakan emerges, calls out two traitor knights and announces himself as Leviathan. He kills the first with his harpoon, captures the chain reaper of the next between his arm and the body of his knight and uses his flame. Sycorax flows through the traitor forces with a phase blade whilst Wraith kills others as they are behind cover with his gun. Sycorax finds and convinces Jester to help them, and they, along with more loyalist knights, go to take out the Crown of Dominion, which is the source of his own corruption, but also others on the planet. Jester takes on the Crown of Dominion and uses a thermal spear to bore into Dominion's chestplate, like a ball laser, and he tried to step back, but Jester was faster and wanted this kill. The melter beam bored into Dominion, but then her thermal spear ran dry, and a concussive blow knocked her down so she used the chain cleaver. It was a chopping, digging weapon, and that's how Jester used it, to, to bore through the chestplate and up into the systems behind the head. The night suit Dominion screamed. She cut away its outer armour, till she looked at the pilot, Dagger Crane, who was fully taken by the Conqueror Worm, that had been inside the night suit. Psychorax calls on Wraith to take the shot. The crown moved, saving the pilot by moving it behind the bulk of Jester. Jester swung her dead chain cleaver, but the pilot stopped it with his warp strengthened hand, but she used her other hand to lift the pilot into Wraith's line of sight. It drilled a hole through the trident crown and through Dagger Crane's skull and cleave through the throne mechanicum as well. Rakan meanwhile fights his uncle, now corrupted by the scrap code. War dog knights surround him, five of them. They test his shield, he sprayed fire around him, he fights them for a while, and then they and his mother, who shows the virus and carries power is still alive, teleport away. Later a leader emerges for Dominion, Rakan. He is of low blood, however, when a page drawn out of his ancestral book was discovered, it was seen there it would elevate him and allow him to rule the planet of Dominion for the Imperium. After Wraith thinks about getting a promotion with another kill and controlling his fate by becoming a team player and choosing those that will work with him. And if you liked this video, try this other one about Imperial Knights.